cute and scary bear. That is the cake that I'm going to be creating today. Hello everyone, my name is Daniel Radcliffe. Welcome to Quali Pops. Let's get started. Now if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button and let me know what cute and scary cake you'd like to see me make next. I was thinking Batman and the Joker. Oh, I forgot already. Let me look in my book. Hold on. Anakin Skywalker and Darth Vader or Wonder Woman and Cheetah because the new movie's coming out soon. Let me know your choice in the description box. Let's get to this cake. So I'm starting with the cute and scary cake basics and I decided to name our teddy bear Roosevelt. A lot of you guys said to name him Teddy. I thought that that was too on the nose with teddy bear, but Teddy Roosevelt? Roosevelt. That's what I like about it. Now this was just a regular cake. I added sprinkles to it and all the sprinkles just, they just, I don't know why, they all sank to the bottom and so they only colored the bottom of the cake, really. That's why there's so much color in the caramelization of this cake. Ugh, too much for me. I like it when it's spread out everywhere. Now this cake is getting a crumb coat and then I'm gonna start to carve. The scary side of this cake was inspired by Annihilation. If you haven't seen it, it's streaming on Netflix, I think on Amazon Prime too. It's about these group of scientists that go into like this alien infested part of the world and they get turned into like, I don't even know how to explain, I don't think I'm even smart enough to explain it properly, but they get mutated and there's a whole bunch of creatures that are already mutated within the place, whatever it is. And one of the creatures is this bear. It is the freakiest bear I've ever seen. There's a face on the side of its face. That's how creepy it is. And when I decided to make a cute and scary teddy bear, I knew that I wanted the scary side to look as close to that bear as possible. Now in this video, I do want to highlight the ASPCA. There are a ton of animals that need our help. And if you have time or money to donate, then please do. And if you're in quarantine, please foster a dog if you can, because you're at home doing nothing. I know you. You're just in your couch. Just have the dog sit next to you on your couch. You're not doing anything. <laughs> now, I asked you guys in this community tab, why is it that Roosevelt mutated? And I really liked your answers. So I'm going to create a story with my favorite answer. So Roosevelt the teddy bear was a very good bear boy. Boy, very good boy bear. He always helped his mom take out the trash, do the dishes, mop the floors. Him, he did it, no complaints ever. Now Roosevelt lived next to a nuclear power plant, right next to the nuclear waste actually. And because he was such a good boy, and also to make up for the fact that he lived next to basically trash, his parents got him some Nike shoes. He loved them Nike shoes, them Nike shoes were so good. Now the next door neighbor envied Roosevelt because of those Nike shoes, because he had only New Balance and he wanted the Nike shoes too. Every, almost everybody wants the Nike shoes. One day, Roosevelt was playing in his backyard, right next to the fence, and his neighbor came up to him and in a jealous rage, threw Roosevelt over the fence into some toxic waste. Then he ran away like a scared little boy. That guy was a coward. Roosevelt, covered in nuclear plasma waste liquid stuff, climbed over the fence and just started crying. He was so sad. His Nike shoes got all dirty. He went inside, washed himself off, but it was too late. His fur, his very cute icing fur, had already started to melt. And after weeks had passed, he no longer resembled the bear that he once was. He looked like a monster. Oh my god, this footage is terrifying. Look at... I created that monster. Roosevelt spent months at home, not leaving, just super depressed. But he continued to help his mom take out the trash, do the dishes, mop the floors. And it was in doing those very menial, very good boy tasks that he realized that no matter what he looked like on the outside, he would always be the good boy on the inside. So he looked in the mirror and he said, I don't care what I look like on the outside. I know that I'm a good boy on the inside and I'm not gonna let that stop me. And so as scary as Roosevelt looked on the outside, he was still as great a bear as he ever was. Cute and scary teddy bear is complete. 
What do you think? Do you like it? I love it. I, I just think it's so cool. Roosevelt. Oh boy. Both sides of you are amazing to me. Now the thing that I like about this cake a lot is that the cute side is created with icing. You know, all of that fur texture doesn't come from me trying to manipulate fondant. It comes from a piping tip, which makes it so much more edible because I like the way that icing tastes. I don't really like the way that fondant tastes. <laughs> now remember, let me know in the comments what cute and scary cake you'd like me to make next. Batman the Joker. What was it? Anakin and Luke Skywalker or Wonder Woman and Cheetah. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I'll see you very soon. Peace!